Hey folks, it's Fritgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Alps Panorama at the Northern Sea here in Farming Simulator 19. There we go, that's all I want to do, just get that one over to there. Okay, we've got that bit all in place that is good enough for me. It's, it's not quite 100% what I wanted because I wanted to do it without the other egg box spawning, but we have got most of it sort of how I wanted, which is... I'd say that's close enough. I'd say that's close enough. Now, I'm not going to bother trying to put this one in at the moment. I'm just going to park it right there along with the tractor and everything. That can just stop there for a minute. And uh, what do I want to do next? I don't want these. I don't want you. No, no, uh, no, no. Yes. I need you next. We've got to go and feed the animals. Because, look, we've got in here, if we go to alt, we've got... That one's half... They definitely need something. And they... Pigs, possibly, would be all right until the morning. But we'll we'll do one load in, like, all the way through. We'll, we'll, we'll do a little bit of wheat, uh, like, one load. We'll, we'll do one pass. We can do one pass. Like, it's, it's really quick anyway. So we've got wheat in there. We've got a little bit of barley now. Let me keep this going for a minute. And because of the milk prices, I'm quite confident that by the spring, we should have gotten every, all the money that we want. What we're going to do, though, is we're going to buy the land first. We'll buy all the land that we want, and then we can quickly go through and uh, oats, uh, canola next. Uh, we buy up the land that we want. Um, we can clear off the trees out of the way so that we can start doing our big sort of job that we want to do on there. And then once we've cleared all of the trees out of the way, then the next thing we'll be able to do... Go through to corn here in a second. There we go. Um, once we've cleared all the trees, we'll then be able to set the plough going. We'll be able to get the course play course loaded up and have a huge great big course right the way across the entirety of the field. And it would be generating a brand new course right the way across the whole thing. It's going to be pretty spectacular, I think. Not quite sure how well it's going to cope with it. It's definitely going to be a challenge for it to cope with it properly, but I still think it's going to be quite interesting to see it all happening. And then we want to tip canola in there. Get that one ready so that we can tip the corn in there. Bring you on round like that. Put that in. And job done. Right, that's there already i don't technically need to put straw in to any of the animals all right if we want to do this extra quickly i don't need to put straw into any of them i am going to i am going to keep doing the straw in for the pigs because that's what we've been doing um one thing that we won't be doing on this series then why won't you tip to go forward a bit ah that's why uh, one thing that we probably won't do, well, no, we, we, we're not going to be doing, is muck spreading. I was hoping to do a bit of muck spreading, like on a fairly large scale, but that's one thing that we're not going to sort of end up getting to, I don't think. I mean, maybe we can, maybe, maybe we will have time in, like, while the ploughing is underway, we may have time to sort of get a little bit of that going as well. I uh, kind of hope that we do, actually. Um, but I, I say that I hope that we do, and obviously I'm the run, one running the series, so I could, you know, say, yes, we're going to do that if I wanted to. However, I'm not going to, like, make an extra load of time just for doing that. I, I don't think it's worth it. What I'd like to do is, yes, it would be nice to have the, um, it, it would be nice to have that going. It, it would be nice to take a look at it and see it in action. Uh, but I'm, I'm not going to worry about it like that. Because if we don't get muck spreading done here, I will do muck spreading with the big scale muck spreader in the next series. Right? That's something that I will do on the Harkenstedt map. I'll get a bit of muck spreading going on there just for some fun. I think it could be quite entertaining doing that. That used way more straw than I thought it would. A lot more straw than I thought it would in there. Which means that our pigs are growing. Right? It wouldn't use that much straw unless our pigs were growing quite nicely. So we, we're going to be ready to be able to start selling some pigs soon. And we've got to make a decision. Do I do... 
a lot of runs up and down to the animal market to sell the pigs with our truck or do I just go into the the bit just in there and I sell them direct from the yard I'm kind of thinking selling direct from the yard because that's actually the more realistic option of it it's highly unusual for any farmer to go and deliver their own livestock to um, the sale point uh, normally what you do is someone comes and gets them I mean if you're on a smaller scale then yeah it does sometimes happen um, you will go and take like one or two animals off to be killed and you sort of you end up doing that like once a week but it, it's definitely not a, a, a regular thing that happens all the time I can't go and sell the milk at this time of night anyway I don't think so that's that's not really gonna be a thing uh, so look in here that's all full now looking fantastic in here that one's got a lot more in it we don't need to worry about the others and then the chickens are absolutely fine the cows in here we've got 360 we've got 400 pigs pigs kilo wise uh 220 is adult weight 90 we've got several at 90 i'm thinking 120 would be our kill out weight so when we get pigs reaching 120 kilos then we will start selling I think that's I think that's a pretty good target to go for I think if we say 120 kilos and that's when we start selling pigs there's gonna be some extra income coming in for us I'm gonna whiz you in round like this bring you up that way and really I forgot all about that <laughs> right well that wasn't supposed to happen quite like that but never mind what I'll do is I'll bring this in over here I go over into the field over this side and I will force tip that out onto the field like this a great big long line like this there we go <laughs> yes we drift while we tip that's brilliant okay so we've done some drift tipping Drift tipping is a whole new style of tipping that I'm, I'm, I'm going to patent. I'm, I'm actually going to patent that. It's going to be an inter it's going to be internationally recognised Olympic sport where we can go drift tipping, and that's that's all you got to do is you got to make your trailer slide as you tip. That's that's the only requirement is the trailer must slide. You must drift as you are tipping something at the back of it, and then you are drift tipping. You're officially a drift tipper. If you can do it like that. Not a fly tipper. That's altogether different and generally frowned upon. Um, this is drift tipping. This is different. This is, this is actually a good form of tipping. Now I want to go this way. We're going to start speeding time up again like that. And we will go back to the house. And we should be able to go to sleep already I would have thought. Yes we can. Excellent. So we can skip through the nights. So we're on 49,000. That's just dropped us down by 10,000. Property income for the day is 2,160 euros. It is now raining, which means that we're not going to be able to do our harvest today. If I go in here a second and have a look at the forecast, uh, we're all right. It'll stop raining soon, but I don't think we're going to be able to actually do our combining until tomorrow. That's just something that we're going to have to live with then, isn't it? Well, that's, that's fine. Let's have a look in here. What do we got? Told you. Sunflowers are ready. Corn is not. So we've got those. Those are going to be on two separate days to be able to do the harvest on there. So I'd like to get that corn going as uh, uh, corn, the sunflowers. What we might do is we might end up just leaving it anyway. If I run now, if I keep, I'll just leave it on 120 times speed and we will go through two days. The rain's about to stop anyway. There, rain has stopped. Just keep it going like this. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to run around the pigs and then we'll run around the chickens and then we'll put a trailer load of TMR in and we've done everything that we want to do. I'll bring you... Oop, nope, I want to go out round that way like that. Bring you in here. So we get some of this in for the pigs into there like that. I reckon it's probably going to dump most of the rest of it. Oh no, no, that's alright. Um, I'll go back in, I will swap over and we'll put the two tra we'll put the three trailers on. 
can do that very quickly. So you can drop there and then I can very quickly hook these two trailers on. We can run around and we can do the feeding with them. We don't have any cleaning that we have to do. That's all nice and easy and quick. So chickens, then over to the pigs. And then as soon as we've done that, we then jump back to the cows. We do the TMR from there. I went on a little bit too far. Let's tip you out there. Right, chickens have got a little bit of food. It's keeping them happy. And then we can go over to the pigs. They're not going to need a great deal. We probably would have been all right to leave them overnight. And do them first thing in the morning. But I'm sort of thinking that no we'll, we'll we'll run through them and we'll do them as quickly as we can right there's one lot in there then we can switch over to canola on here and do that bit go on if you if you will uh, i don't mind if you if you like tip out the canola like you're supposed to that that would be quite helpful and tip the corn out as well like you're supposed to there feed that lot that's going to keep them happy. So this can go back into the shed. And then I can jump straight over into the Zerian over there. And we can run that one over with a load of TMR for the cows. There. What I don't have with the total mixed ration is any more being made at the moment. What are we lacking over this side? It's the silage, isn't it? Yes, I've got hay and I've got straw. I have no silage coming in. We need to we, we need to get some silage from there and put in. I've still got 410,000 litres though, so we're probably all right for a minute. I've got five days worth, which is going to see us through most of it. We will need to put a little bit in, but at the moment we've got sufficient quantity here that we don't need to worry about it. We come bouncing in through there. Whiz around through this way and up onto there like that so the crop is still wet you can see the crop is still wet in the ground now if we go back into here and we have a look at this friday saturday and sunday is saying that we've got rain coming in now if that is the case that means we're not going to be able to harvest our corn in time all right we are not going to be able to do the harvest of the corn it's just not going to happen now, my cows are completely full of mixed ration at the moment, which is not very helpful. Completely and totally full. We've got 365 in there. What kill weight are we going to go for with the cows? I would say 260 to three, 300 kilos probably for the cows is what we'd be looking at. Pigs in here, I said 120 kilos. I've got 102 for quite a few of them. Some of them are reaching 110 now. And then uh, 224. The adults do continue to get heavier. They just keep getting heavier. But at the moment, the the first round, like the first generation, we're looking at 102, which is pretty good. Uh, dump the rest of that out. There we go. Half past six. This is only the first day. I'm hoping that the forecast is slightly inaccurate and we are going to be able to harvest the corn. We kind of need the corn for the pigs. And if we can't have, I'm going to wait until the corn is ready and I'm going to put both combines going at once. So if the weather doesn't permit us to harvest the corn, the weather is also not going to permit us to harvest the sunflower. So we're going to end up losing both crops. That's the downside to using seasons, right? It is actually possible to not be able to harvest your crops, especially the likes of corn, because it's so late in the season for harvesting it. Uh, it's entirely possible that you can end up losing the whole crop. I don't want to do that. I definitely don't want to lose the whole thing. But it is a possibility which we need to take into account. I wasn't expecting more rain. We had a little tiny shower of rain then. Which I definitely wasn't expecting. Mid-autumn. See, the crop is still saying it's wet. This is this is this is a, a serious problem. If it's still wet, then we can't do anything with it. You're fine. We don't need to worry about you. Tomorrow, Saturday, it's got it as hoofing down all day. Well, in the early hours of the morning, and then we're looking at snow later on. And freezing temperatures. 
But at the moment, we've got that symbol saying that we can't harvest the crop anyway, right? We, we really, literally do not have any option. We are not going to be able to harvest that crop even if we want to. Now, I'm going to go back to there, and I'm going to go okay like that. That has just got us $550,000, uh, euros rather. So, you know, the silver lining there, we've got some money. Right, I can, if I want to, right now I could go and start harvesting the sunflowers. All right, it's just now dried up enough that we can start harvesting the sunflowers. We can't go and start harvesting that. Excuse me, I am sorry. Uh, we can't harvest that until tomorrow, uh, so I'm going to leave it. I am not going to do it yet. I am absolutely determined that we will do both crops or we will do no crops. That is my plan. I don't... I, it's it's all, or, uh, all or nothing. I've always been a very all or nothing sort of person. And this is what we're doing right here. We are going all or nothing on this one. We either harvest all of the crops or we harvest none of them. It's, that's, how, that's how it's going to be. That's just how it's going to be, ladies and gentlemen. All or nothing. Not sure if this is the best way to sort of look at things for running a farm. It's, it, it might be considered a little bit reckless to sort of uh, have these ultimatums where we go all or nothing. But on the other side of the coin... We have got a lot of ploughing that we still need to do. We, we, that, there is a huge amount of everything that we still need to do. So we kind of want to get everything ticking towards making our very, very large field. Now, we've got a half a million euros at the moment. The remainder of the money that we can bring in... Actually, I think we might need a little bit more than that. Most of the rest of the money that we get from this point on... You, no, we're not going to take any more from there. Most of the rest of the money that we get from this point on is going to be going towards the new machinery. We want that new John Deere, and we're also going to want the new... Wait, do I want to put... Uh, I do. I want to switch over and uh, drop that one. And I want to put some straw in for the pigs. Um, we've got the new John Deere that we're going to want to buy. That's half a million. And then we've got the new seed drill that we want to buy, which is almost another million. So we've got a little bit in the way of expenses still to go. Now, I'm hoping that the milk we are getting from our cows is going to go a long way towards covering that. It's not going to cover all of it. I probably shouldn't have parked that one right underneath the spout for the straw. Kind of need it to be able to move this one as well. Or to load this one, I should say. I could go and put some more bales in, but again, it's, it's another one of those things that I don't really want to do. I, it's, it's there, we've got the option, but I kind of want to keep things moving as rapidly as possible. And the most rapid way that we can do this is to use the new straw that we've got. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go over here, and I'm going to use the new straw. So bring you this way. Go over here, and I'm going to leave that one there a second. I'm going to switch over to this tractor. I'm going to take total mixed ration and I'm going to go and tip that in for the cows. What I am going to do is I'm going to slow that down there to just one time speed for a second. While we run this one round and we tip out into the cows and then I will come back, unhitch this one underneath the spout, hook onto the other trailer and just move it out of the way. And then we got to hope and pray that we are still able to harvest our crop in the morning. Otherwise, we've just lost all of the sunflowers and the corn. Sunflowers, yes, it is going to be something that would end up costing us money. But it's not quite as bad as it could be. The thing that is going to be a problem is the fact that we're losing all that corn. All right, we may end up running low on corn for our pigs and that is that is a much more serious problem that is a much more serious situation that we're going to have to be aware of now i'm going to bring you back this one right here i'll bring you back over here like that and put you underneath that spout and i'm going to start loading you up again start like that and i'm going to unhitch that one and i'm going to go over to this one does this trailer take silage? I don't remember. I don't think this one does, does it? Does it take silage or not? 
Actually, there's a very... No, it's TMR that it doesn't take. It does take silage. So I can use this one to go and move this silage over here. I can open up that bit right there. And then I can bring you in underneath the spout here. Like this. Because I have got 646,000 in there. Yes, I can take silage in here. That takes a little while to load. So while that's taking a little while to load, I'm going to go back over to this one and bring this one underneath this spout right here and we'll be able to start loading this one back up with straw because we're now completely empty i've got a bit of total mixed ration in there 702,000 liters of straw in here that's also a little bit slow and steady right well slow and steady wasn't quite part of the master plan we don't want slow and steady anymore we want quick and efficient Right, well, as both lots are actually just fine, that can... S oh, wait, no. I can't do that. If I leave this one outside, you know what's going to happen, don't you? It's going to start raining in the night, and then I'm going to lose all the straw that is in that vehicle. And that's not something I want. You've got 60,000... Right, while you're still... You know I ought to modify this so that it tips that out just a little bit faster but anyway i'm going to go into miscellaneous in here we're going to scroll up through this way and we're going to find that one right there and i'm going to put another one there i'll bring that close to the edge i've got the rest of them lined up that those first two are not quite lined up as well as they could be though are they uh well none of them are particularly lined up but uh they're they're doing all right i think and you there and then that one and then that one, and then that one over there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back to here, and we're going to turn these round. So that one, actually, if I... That's what you do. You press and hold C, and then it does it... It aligns it. So I'll bring that over... I'm just trying to think which is the best way. No, nope. oops. That's the wrong button to press. There. Is that lined up with the front of it? That seems to be lined up. Right. Now, that's, that's what I want to do. I want to bring that one over to there. So I can see the front of it, and it's going to go over to there. It's going to just line up with the very front of that bit, and then I'll bring you in there. Like that. They're pretty close together like that. I don't know if this is a good thing or not, but they, they're they lining up roughly where I want them. They're not all perfectly placed, but I don't think that actually matters. That's, that's not going to ultimately affect anything in here, the fact that they're not perfectly placed. They're placed well enough. Uh, there isn't enough room really to go and put more bee houses in through there. You wouldn't really want to do that. I think that's probably enough. That is several bee houses down through there. There's also a boatload of money that I've just gone and spent on that, which, you know, technically I'm not sure that we can really afford. I'm going to bring you over this way, and I'm going to dump that silage in there like that. And as soon as that has been dumped in there, I'm going to spin this one round, and I'm going to go and start loading it up again. Then I'm going to jump into the other tractor, we'll tip out the straw, and we can skip the night, and we can see what the situation is going to be with the harvest. i got a horrible feeling that the forecast, because as you get closer, the forecast gets more accurate. I don't know if we're going to be able to do our combining or not, because we've got more, we've got rain basically for the next couple of days. We, we've got rain there, we've got snow, rain, snow, snow, rain. I don't think we are going to be able to harvest the crop. And yes, I could be sensible. I could be harvesting the sunflowers right now, but I'm not that sensible. Plus, I'm also, at this stage, not that fussed about it because we've got an absolutely huge harvest coming up. And I don't think everybody watching, I don't, I, I don't think you're that fussed about it either. I mean, yes, obviously... Letting a, deliberately letting a crop go to waste is yeah it, it does feel wrong right it, it definitely does feel wrong it feels as wrong for me as it does for all of you as well I am well aware of that but at the same time we've got we we want to like keep things moving don't we we want to get that going 
so we we can get the the big field being done we've we've got more things that we need to buy and we also need to get like the plowing has got to get started and there's a whole host of other things that we want to do as well right you're fine i can put you in the shed then i can start fast forwarding again okay i can do that right now we can skip we'll be able to skip the night again but the money should now be ticking up a bit faster because we've now got all those extra beehives we just spent a fortune on new beehives silage doesn't if it's not affected silage or total mixed ration they're not affected by the um rain so they're not going to be a problem now we've sold milk today so we're going to want to leave that for another day or two not quite sure how long we're going to want to leave that but at least a at least a couple of days let's go and get some more sleep the game is synchronizing after fast forward i should have fast forwarded longer for the night time the night time skip i definitely should have had that longer right we've got snow falling it's saying that the ground is not suited at the moment for other things to press escape we've got the both the crops are now able to be done however with the snow falling and other things happening as well yeah this this is going to be tricky we we need the crop to be dry i don't know what the combines are going to be like trying to harvest this this could be interesting especially with this snow falling how long it's going to fall for let's have a look saying nine it should be stopped by lunchtime but if we don't if we're not able to get going by before three o'clock we're we're not going to be able to harvest because all day sunday it's raining we've literally got we've got a window now no nope, it's now gone to rain we've lost our we, we're not gonna we, we we're not gonna be able to do it we've lost the crop that's quite that's that's quite bad really all right we've completely lost the crop now now i know plenty of farmers that will try to harvest in the rain if they've got no other choice it's really really difficult slow going um it's, it, it is a genuine slog trying to get that to happen but you can combine in the rain i have seen it happen myself i know that it can happen it is definitely not an easy thing to do. It's not an easy task, not like not an easy trick to pull off, but it's still possible. Oh, I know what I was looking at. I want to have a look at the pigs in here. 93s, 120s. I got 100. Uh, some of the males are at 130. Another day, and we will have our pigs. We, they will have reached the weight that I said that I wanted them to get to before we start selling any of them. So it's lunchtime now let's ignore that lot and we'll come over to here now there is something else on the map i was told i need to go and look for when it's frozen there is something else but i've no idea what it would be absolutely no clue where i would look in order to even find this i wonder if i can do it like this if we go start landscaping Bring that up. Let's run over this way. I don't think it's actually frozen now. There's nothing there. Let's go back and have a look at our pond and see if the pond is frozen. If the pond isn't frozen, then... Oh, right. No, the pond isn't frozen at the moment. So because the ground isn't frozen, it's not going to count. But it's, it's raining again. All right, we're, we're simply not going to be able to do what I wanted to do. We're not going to be able to do the harvest. The harvest is, is done for. You can... Oop, no, you're still running. You can go in here. I'm going to leave... I was thinking that we could just leave the reality. Well, that's about all we've got time for in today's episode. So we're going to go and take a little bit of a break. We need to chill out on the beach, relax, and build up some strength. So while we're doing that... If you've enjoyed the episode, then could you please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.